communism and capitalism, which both have failed, both did not bring along uh, the promises they made, and the economy for the common good is uh, a model that is going beyond these uh, experiences. It is a market economy, but a fully ethical market economy on the one hand, and a truly liberal market economy on the other hand. Uh, most important characteristic is that uh, we put again in the right uh, relationship goal and means of the economy, because at the moment the accumulation of capital or the gain of money is the goal of the economy and the common good is uh, only a means or a side effect uh, of that striving. But if we look at constitutions uh, of those countries who have one at least, uh, they tell us that it's the other way around, that the goal of the economy is the common good and that money is only the means to achieve it. And uh, that's why uh, now in Austria and Germany 90% uh, of the population are uh, dissatisfied with the present economic order because uh, goals and means are mixed up and uh, uh, all values are suffering. The environment is suffering, the relationships are suffering, justice is suffering, democracy is suffering, and uh, people's happiness in the end is suffering. So although we have an, uh, an, an, an wealth in history that we had never before, uh, people wish a, a different economy. And if we put the common good uh, first, then we ought to measure economic success alongside the achievement of the goal with a common good product for the national economy, a common good balance sheet for every company and a common good exam for a single investment. Thanks to this change of means and goals, the economic um, energy, uh, creativity is reorientated to the goal and the values that are already broadly shared by the people and anchored in constitution of democratic countries. Who defines the common good and what is the common good? Uh, by definition, the term only says that uh, the well-being of every single human being and maybe of all other living beings equally counts. That is all what is said by the term by itself. But then 95% of its meaning has to be defined in a democratic process because we do not accept uh, God, we do not accept an emperor or even the queen to define uh, the common good. It has to be the sovereign free people who uh, gather maybe in their uh, villages, their municipalities, uh, their districts and uh, compose together the 10 to 20 most relevant ingredients of life quality or um, happiness or the common good. And uh, the so far experiences show uh, that people deem the same factors as the most important ones in their life from health and education and well-working relationships and stable environment and peace and democracy and all these values and, uh, and, and goals are different from money. Money never plays a role because money is only a means to achieve some of these goals and to meet some of these uh, basic needs. So it's the sovereign people who define which, uh, uh, what is the common good and it's also the sovereign people who would then ask all companies to report on what they contribute to uh, just distribution, to humane working conditions, to uh, a good ecological uh, footprint or to a democratic structure in the economy.